goodwill that I can always let you feel how much closer you're coming with today. Signs of good times are everywhere, and there's a brand new feeling in the Greetings, greetings. In the name of the Most High God, in the name of the God, and Jesus Christ, our returning King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh, greetings to my family members, my friends, my friends of friends, all seed of Abraham, your Muslims, Jews, Messianic Jews, Orthodox Jews, Hebrew Israelites, to non believers, and to my pathfinders. You are listening to The Signalman. I am your host, Daniel Signalman. And here at The Signalman, we try to bring everyone to the understanding of the way, the truth, and the life, which is Jesus Christ, and show the evidence of his eminent and soon return. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The Bible says, For the Lord is not slack concerning his men count slackness, but he's long suffering to us words, not willing that any should perish, but that to come to repentance. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your time and your energy. We have again. Uh, Brother Solid, who decided to stay on uh, uh, some minutes for us as we uh, clear um, Daniel chapter 12. Uh, Solomon has been doing some research on the side, looking for things as we study this uh, text. And we appreciate his time. Um, again, if you didn't see the first half of what he had to say, please go back and look at it. Uh, he talked about the importance of prayer, the importance of the individuals in his life, like his grandmother and his grandfather. I mean, father and mother guided that foundation. And so as we're recording and we're going to sometimes pausing in between and we'll try to do the editing the best way we can but we want to get his take on what he studied and that's the whole point of the interview to get the interviewees understanding of what has been required of them to study as always please pray for us and like share subscribe Leave your comments, what you like, what you don't like. Um, and let's get back to it, brother. Again, thank you for the extra time you've given me. Okay. Uh, so, uh, all right. So, yeah, to, to Daniel uh, 9, there, there, he is Michael, ladies and gentlemen. Michael, the archangel, or Michael, the prince tends to be that one that stands ready to fight, ready to contend. Um, that is the depiction of him in, in, in the Bible. And we were talking about chapter 12, verse 1, and it says at that time, Michael the prince shall stand up for thy people. So Daniel is being informed at this time, Michael is going to ensure that God's people are secure those that are found written in the book now this book is also talked about in revelation am i correct uh brother solid is also yeah revelation uh-huh 
talk about the book of life. Those that are found in the book of life. The, the Bible does talk about the book of life. And, and that yes, it does. Be all of us believe in, in, in Jesus, that's where we want to be. Oh, I emphasize something, something that Brother Solomon uh, brought out is that we want to be individuals who are steadily praying, not just by ourselves, but with our wives, which I need to be fine. And many of us fall short categories of prayer. Prayer is that one thing, prayer, reading the word, and sick are those who utilize to come. Very important with prayer. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, bro. It just <laughs> went it it went from Man, we have like three screens. Who is the other person? It was you. Me again? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. We, wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what happened. We just went black. <laughs> we had three mm. screens. Uh, this is weird. Um, anyway, let's focus. <laughs> let's, let's, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, yeah it's good, it's good. Or we have no more um, because this. Well, I don't know what happened just now. All right. So those that are written in the book, many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. So, what is what is your your take on on verse number two? Or or do you still have any yes. questions or, or uh, comments about Mike? Actually, no. I I was more on. Um, I just wanted to just had emphasize earlier about that that part in uh, verse thirteen and chapter twelve that. We don't have just one, and it's not just a one-term inheritance. It's a mm -hmm. continual uh, giving uh, uh, of, of this inheritance that really caught me off guard. Um, and I, I was, and I now see that when it comes to seeing that. There's something that the, the dragon, the devil, doesn't want us to have. Um, Correct. They really don't like that we were given life. Don't like that we were given this earth to to reign and to grow and to uh, raise our hands or prostrate our bodies. And be thankful every single moment of the day from the time we get up to the time we go to bed, praising God for what he had allowed us to do to grow, to improve, um, uh, not only with, with agriculture, but with technology, with uh with, with, with doing things that are amazingly done with with nature 